The stock market senses when companies um, are requiring to raise equity capital and it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy or spiral on the way down. So, you know, there, there's a lot that we just don't know. There's a lot that the company doesn't know. They've suspended guidance and the company's only earning 25 to 30 cents of free cash this year. That doesn't suggest the stock is worth much more than five or six dollars, all else equal. We're, we're in this moment here, John, where um there's a debate between whether or not this is really about liquidity issues or just a degradation of fundamental run rates in all the major uh, business units. Where are you on that? It fundamentally has to do with too much debt at the capital company. We all know aviation is fine, although aviation's in the 15th year of a 10 year cycle, so it's debatably at a peak. Uh, power is in serious, you know, it's got some serious challenges. The renewables business, again, serious challenges. Uh, the company's facing a, a torrent of distraction costs. It's firing people on the same time people are leaving. Uh, Culp did his best, I think, to try and shore up morale uh, so that the company doesn't hemorrhage more people. And, um, you know, listen, these are, I think the CEO even said this, these are very long-term issues that have to get worked through here. There's no one quick fix. There's no silver bullet. Um, it's a combination of a number of things with capital at the epicenter of the challenges. So Justin Bergner from Gabelli, I think you disagree with this and you have the buy rating still on the stock. Why is that? Uh, yes, thank you for having me on the show, Sarah and Carl. Um, I have a positive view on the stock. I think people miss the big picture here, which is you have a good management team, uh, you have high quality assets at GE. Uh, in aviation and healthcare, and you have a stock trading at a big discount to its asset value. You know, we see over $11 per share of value for healthcare and aviation alone after all of the liabilities in the company. And we think that there are more liquidity options than meets the eye. Um, you know, there have been news leaks earlier this year about potential sale of power conversion, of the digital core. We're not sure where they stand, but if those two things were sold, we could see $5 billion coming in the door. Within GE Capital, we think there's the opportunity to sell the GCAS business at near book value without uh, potential um, strategic effect on the aviation business. So we just think there are a lot more options than people are concerned about and that the liquidity fears are a little bit over trumped versus the underlying asset value. I mean, if that is true, John, it does raise the question to bears like yourself, just what is the some of the parts analysis here for GE, valuable assets like aviation and healthcare, and put it together, and what, what should this stock be worth, even with some of the liquidity fears in the background? Well, it's also about the debt, and I would dispute Justin's assertion about a quality management team. This is the management team, with the exception of Larry Culp, that got us into these issues in the first place. So, I mean, really, I mean, this is, uh, I, I don't know how you can say it's a quality management team with uh, everything having done what it's done and where we're at today. With respect to some of the parts, it's an academic, at best, academic exercise. Some of the parts, um, invariably, the companies don't trade to some of the parts. In this case, uh, GE is on the hook for all of GE Capital's tens of billions of dollars of debt securities. Um, and, and, you know, simply subjectively making up analysis with respect to what these various businesses are worth. I mean, that doesn't really accomplish anything. The market, the market truly understands what the nature of this stuff, which is why GE is performing the way it is. Yeah, the, to that point, Justin, one last uh, question about something Culp said, and that was that they have a good uh, line of sight uh, regarding the trajectory for power. And I wonder how much credibility you think the street gives them for having a good line of sight right now, given uh, their history of portfolio management. Yes, thank you. Um, I mean, clearly, uh, the stock market is not giving them much credit for a good line of sight and power. And, you mm -hmm. know, I would caveat the strong management uh, comment by noting that power is obviously the problem child at GE, and it has been uh, mismanaged for some time, um, you know, starting with prior management in the power business. Uh, with that said, I think that Larry Culp is the right person to come in and focus on stabilizing power. Is it going to be a strong uh, contributor to cash flow and earnings over the next couple of years? No, but if he can stabilize it so it's you know slightly positive earner and and you know break even free cash flow, I think that will go a long way towards fixing the both operational problems at GE and assuring people that liquidity is not as bad as uh, you know it looks in 2018 and not as bad as feared.